Hello and welcome to another episode of Shame Time with Manny. Last time, we left off in Tartarus. Uh, I was able to get to right before a boss, and so we will try to start this app by fighting the boss. We'll see if we can beat him. Who knows, you know? If not, uh, we can level up. We're getting decent experience here. So this will probably be a pretty Tartarus heavy episode. I sense a strong one. Nice. Techniques. Yukari needs to heal us. You know, it can't hurt to try that, so I'm gonna try it. It did hurt them. Interesting approach. Oh shit. Alright, we're already getting bopped. She almost just died. Don't overdo it. Oh, got critted. All right. I'll just use Medea uh, so that Yukari can get healed because we're gonna get screwed. Dang. Ooh, six. That's the worst. Don't do that. Oh, Yukari's totally gonna fucking die. Hang in there. I won't lose. Still alive. Seems like Mazayanga is gonna be our best bet here. But I still would like to have us have more health. Hopefully Karamaru doesn't keep using Ajidine because it's terrible. He's useless. I'll show you my true power. Also useless. I am fine, but we gotta use this. This is just stupid. Like... Nice, I can go. Sorry, John. I've regained my honor. Oh, did you car get critted? Okay, no. Thank God. Oh, I was knocked down. Fuck. I think we might be screwed. Okay, they let us live. Don't overdo it. 
No damage to them this turn, though. Wow, you should have used a different move. That's crazy that you would be that stupid. Might as well, man. Might as well. I, uh... This is a bummer, because this is doable, it's just obnoxious, and, like, Koromaru is being supremely unhelpful. Nice. Okay. Like, don't overdo it. This is insane! She, uh, why does everyone else dodge and she doesn't dodge? Okay. Don't get upset at the boss. It happens. Koromaru does six damage a hit. Yukari does six damage a hit. Yukari's AI is the worst because we could have had full health instead of just Akihiko. So, yeah. Man, I, right now, all I can think about is how I will be playing Kingdom Hearts in exactly one day. And I just... I don't know, man. After 17 years, it's the conclusion of this this story arc. And it's been most of my life, you know? It's a wild, wild thing to think about. And outside of that, a lot of games I want to play are actually starting to trickle out, so it's cool. Video games are happening. Dang, we blocked that. Experience. That's okay. Nope, I do not want to double up. Claymore, that's a Junpei style weapon, I believe. I uh, am not super into using stuff like that. So. Back to getting all the beads. Beads for days. Beads for life. I 
finish it off. Kari Critter. No doubling. Don't know that I fought the hard enemy. I'll scan the target. My wounds. Still alive. Interesting. It has multiple weaknesses. I'll show you my eyes. Who has ice? I don't remember. Mabu That's the way. Okay. These were hard enemies? I guess I got these. Good job. Wow, that was not as lucrative as I would have imagined. That sucks. There are two of them. Attack. So I have been playing a lot it of Tales of Asperia Definitive Edition. I would say that it is still one of my favorite uh, JRPGs. And... It's weird because I got to the third act, the final act, um, and it is when, in a lot of JRPGs, especially of that era, that a lot of the side quests open up, and it got me to thinking about the Persona games, and usually, just in general, side quests are my favorite parts of games because it is like you have to do a whole bunch of quests, follow a bunch of stuff that's can be kind of hard to figure out sometimes and you end up getting stuff that makes it super worth it but in persona games because of the way they are structured you don't end up getting those side quests and i mean i guess you could count the quests that elizabeth and the other uh room helpers velvet room helpers give you uh you could count that i guess but even then, they're never super worth it in that context, and they're not, like, really side quests. They're just quests that you can do that would, in theory, help you out, but nothing, like, super crazy. And I don't know. I think for me, in my brain, the social link aspect of these games replaces the endgame side quests and things like that. But yeah, I can't quite put my finger on it. Area with a guide because I had already uh, played through almost all of it before on 360 and I forgot just how many things you can miss in Tales games. It's insane. Like if I wasn't using a guide for this I would have missed half the events and cool things in Vesperia and that is crazy because generally when you buy a game you want to experience the whole thing you want to get your money's worth and i mean even if i was missing these things i would still be getting my money's worth it just i don't know i feel like i want to suck all the content out of games that i enjoy i want to experience everything that i can and it is just it's wild because a lot of modern games they funnel you into being able to see everything because like they made it right they made all this cool stuff that they want you to see 
But, uh... I guess older JRPGs and even some now still, they have so much that's missable, and it's wild that they have that philosophy. That they are willing to let the player possibly miss out on a bunch of cool stuff. What are they? Bufu the or Mazeonga? It has Really, Aki. That was a crit. I should have counted. Well, whatever. We can just. Interesting. Uh, That's the last one. I won't miss. Jeez, that was no, you Kari. Come on. I can sense your determination. It's a bummer. Uh, there was a snowstorm here last weekend. And it has snowed kind of on and off since then, so, but it has been like ridiculously cold outside. Like only the past couple days has it been above zero, but it was it was absurd before. And it's one of those things where, because I have lived here my whole life in New York, upstate New York, I should be used to how cold it gets, but I feel like it generally never gets this cold, where it's like below zero a lot. I'm never used to the below zero the weather. There's only one. Good luck, everyone. See what the death bringers all about. Nope, we can't use that. I even went to school uh, near a lake, and especially in the winter, a lot of wind comes off a lake, and the way campus was built was, uh, let's just say, not ideal, and made it so that the wind would get funneled around in really strange ways. So it was extra cold because of lake effect snow. And also, it was super windy. And so for three and a half years, I did that because uh, I graduated a semester early. Sorry, my cat is deciding that he wants to scratch the wall right now. It's really great. Um, so I did three and a half years of that. And at that time, I think I was used to it. I was used to how ridiculously cold it would get. And then I moved back to my hometown for like a year and I was no longer used to it. You found the enemy's weakness. But yeah, dude, it would get so rough up there. Oh my god. It was insane. Ridiculous. Good job.
was just right here the whole time. Totally missed it. I think that is my main complaint other than the stupid AI with Persona 3 is that Tartarus is boring, generally. Um, while battles can be interesting enough, it's just the way the floors are randomly generated, the way that nothing changes for a very long time. It's not set up like a dungeon. So when they added dungeons in Persona 4, I was a big fan, and then the way they fleshed that out a little bit more in 5. And like, I mean, even 1 and 2 had actual dungeons, right? So it's... It's just a little... I don't know. I find it to be so monotonous. Just climbing up the tower. enemies are not giving me as much experience as I like to be getting. Watch out! There are four enemies! Oh, hell yeah! I don't want to double up with any of these. <laughs> My skills have improved. Like, what? I am so confused by why the enemies are so weak right now. I feel like I should load up my PS2 save one of these days and see... What level I was at when I got to the final boss area and could not do it. And how many hours I had played. That would be interesting to know. Good job! I'm getting kind of tired. Yukari chan seems tired. Don't be a bitch, Yukari. You can still level up more. I have faith in you. Four enemies. They seem rattled. I wonder why the other two are tired. I've been waiting for this. Okay, now! Good job! I can't believe I'm this tired. Spoke too soon. We 
gotta get out of here. Why is this? I used to like that this was always the formation of enemies. I no longer like it. They give nothing. Good choice. The enemy is down. I've been waiting for this. Okay, now. Great battle. Oh no, Koruma. He's so sad. All right, with those experience boosts, they're kind of worth it. Nope, not that way. Four days enemies. Now's the time. Will they just leave on their own? Wow, he's really wasting his magic. Just two more to go. Sure, that's a move you could do, Koromaru. I don't know that you should. That's definitely not good. I started running like a freaking moron, and here we are. It has multiple weak two enemies left. You found the enemy's weakness. I've been waiting for this. Okay, now. We have to get out of here. I know it was like 181, but like there's got to be, we have to see a teleporter on the way. Or we'll just get to 181, I guess. It was just 180. We did it. Everybody's gonna leave me. Everybody's going back to the dorm. That's fine. Wow, it's empty in here, man. Nope, don't do that. Just I guess and uh, Junpei. They're the only two we could have. Let oh Ken, I, f I always forget about Ken. It's because I think he's stupid. But. Let me fuse the Sonas. 
Alright, he's useless. He's super useless. Super useless. Not super useless. Well, I mean, he is, but... Ajidine? Okay. But, like, do we really need Titania? I don't think so. <gasps> I fucked it up. He had Madeiron. I did, he added again. Don't do it. Okay. Oh. Dang, we're going to be able to get a Vyatakarasu. Finally got Ajidine. Whoa. Ho ho ho. Can't be charmed. Oh, hell yeah. Fire amp? Dude, he's gonna let it rip. Now we could get literally all the fire people. That's insane. Try triangle with you, you. And you. No, we're one level too low. No. I think I have Lilum, Pixie, and Narcissus. <sighs> Man, the hexagonal. Alright, I do not have a lot of those cross. Okay. Let's see, do I Lilum, Pixie, Nada Taishi, and Narcissus?
Okay. Not have the chariot. Oh, we don't have like any of those things that I needed, so that doesn't work. Okay, well, I guess I can level up again and then get a good persona. I mean, in theory, I can get, a, get rid of Yatagarasu now. He does know Miragi, though, but this man knows Ajidine with Fire Amp. And he's got growth, so he'll level up on his own. That's pretty good. So that's pretty exciting. Finally, we got a decent fireman. You overhear a conversation. Jeez, they found someone with apathy syndrome at my cram school, too. They're all over the place. You know, I hear the problem isn't just limited to this city. It's happening everywhere. I wonder what's going to happen to this country. D don't say this country. The first bell is rung. Okay. I don't think that I should do this. I don't think I should hang out with her. But we're gonna. We have Hanuman. Todai, 3rd Street, Yuko's room. You're celebrating your coaching success alone with Yuko. It was a lot of hard work, but I'm glad we helped those kids. How about you, Manny-kun? Yuko's looking at you slyly. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to stare. I just noticed that you have such long eyelashes. I've never seen you this close before. Blush. How about we change topics? I have a question for you. Do you like kids, Manny-kun? Yeah, I like them. Me too. I like how they try so hard. You know, recently I realized how much I like to take care of people. Can I ask you one more question before we call it a night? Let's say you get married and have a kid. Would you want it to be a boy or a girl? Doesn't matter which. Is that how guys think? Yuko seems to be a little puzzled. Well, if you mean you don't care as long as the baby's healthy, then I agree with you. Dang. Anyway, I wouldn't want the baby to take after me since I'm a little rough around the edges. I'd want the baby to look like you, Manny Coon, since you're. Yeah. Ah, uh, I didn't mean to imply. Oh, uh, what am I saying? It seems like Yuko has fallen for you. Your relationship is stronger now. So, in my first playthrough, I chose for my lady friend to be Yuko. And I think if I was going to pick, I would pick you, though. Please don't get the wrong idea. It was something I saw on TV last night. There was a show about predicting what a baby will look like by combining two people's pictures. That's the only reason I brought it up. I don't want you to misunderstand. Uh, hey, it's getting late. Let's call it a night, okay? You left abruptly as if you had been kicked out. What's up, dude? Everybody's sick. I'm just 
go right to bed. Nah, dog. No, I don't want to do something tomorrow. We always go to see Sick Boy. There's no school. All right, what do we got from Tanaka? Hello everyone, welcome to the show. Tomorrow is Tanaka's commodity. Let's bring out our item of the day. It's the Ravenclaw. I do want the Ravenclaw because that is a weapon for Koromaru. That was a shitload of money, so it better be the best freaking knife ever conceived by man. Holy shit. Alright, let me go to the... Polonium Mall, because we need revival beads. Which store sells revival beads? Is it Which pharmacy? I don't remember. It is. Akinari, here we come, my man. We'll max you out yet. Oh, it's you. Why don't you have a seat? This bench is too big for me alone. Since you have Yatagarasu, you can do it. The bench will be our meeting place. I'm still writing more of my story. How much did I tell you about? Oh, right. The pink alligator and the bird had become friends, right? This was the alligator's first friend, and he was very happy. They started going to the river every day, and the little bird would sing while the alligator listened. But again, the alligator couldn't catch food easily because of his color. Pink is such an odd color. His prey in the jungle saw him from far away and had plenty of time to escape. He became so hungry that he was dizzy most of the time, and he accidentally ate the bird one afternoon as it slept in his mouth. Of course, he realized his mistake immediately. He drank swamp water to induce vomiting, but the bird was already dead when he retrieved it. After that, he couldn't bring himself to eat anything. That's as far as I've written. I haven't decided on an ending. It sounds really depressing. It's a good story. You really think so? Maybe you'll enjoy the final product. I always thought the only thing I could give other people was hopelessness, but maybe. Akinari seems moved. So before I mentioned I was writing a diary, that was a lie. I was writing my will. I couldn't face reality, and I was essentially screaming curses into my notebook. But for now, I'm writing my story in the same notebook. It probably isn't very good, but it contains some things that I've learned during my short life. When it's done, I want you to read it. I mean, meeting you is the main reason I started writing it. Akinari looks into your eyes. Your relationship is stronger now. A serious voice rings in yo head. Sex. 
seven. All right. I hope oh, there's got to be three more Sundays, dude. Ugh. I'm really trying to come up with a good ending, but I can't decide. I don't have much time to spare. Well, thanks. I hope we can chat some more later. You decide to go back to the dorm. Koromaru's hype. Koromaru's looking at you. He wants to go for a walk. Let's go for a walk, my man. <gasps> you go. Oh, Manicoon, what's up? Whoa, what a cute pooch. Aw, oh, you're really lucky. We can't have any pets at our place. You talked for a while. Two of you seem closer. Yeah, that's so good, Koromaru. Koromaru's back from playing. You decide to go back to the dorm. Yo, Koromaru hooking us up. You overhear a conversation. Hey, good news, wanna hear it? I know you do. I heard the boy who's transferring here today is a stud. Really, are you just messing with me? No, I heard it from someone who saw him filling out the forms. Which class? 11th grade, class your math. Oh, well that's disappointing, but I'll go check him out later. What in God's name is the sound that's happening in the background? The class seems unamused. Please, introduce yourself. My name is Ryoji Mochizuki. I would be grateful if you could show me the ropes. <laughs> hey, he's kind of cute. I was thinking the same thing. Not so loud. Not so loud. You can hear the girls whispering, because they're not whispering. Nice to meet you. Seems to be looking in your direction. Ryoji lived overseas for a long time because of his parents' work, so he may not be used to all of our customs. Be sure to explain them to him. Now then, you need a seat. Let's see. Oh, that one's open. Second from the left in the front. Um, Miss Toriyumi? Technically, that seat's taken. You must be present to be a member of this class, so as far as I'm concerned, that seat is available. Life is nothing but a game of musical chairs. The rest of you should be careful, too. It's kind of fucked up. Good morning. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. You are dangerous. Dangerous? I haven't even asked you out on a date yet. A date? Hmm? I guess what's wrong with you? <laughs> I guess is not a fan. Rejected from the start. You're an interesting girl. <sighs> Your teacher understands, Iris. You haven't had very long to be the new student, and already you have to share the spotlight. I wish your classmates would pay attention to me for a change. Hey, are any of you even listening? New classmate action. Quiet down, everyone. Just because we have a transfer student doesn't give you a license to misbehave. Anyone who doesn't settle down will be left out of the school trip next week. Got it? Good. Now let's begin today's lecture. Where did we leave off last time? Oh, forget it. I'm using the textbook. You feel tired. Close your eyes. You might as well. Because we need no academics anymore. Alright, class has ended. 
Uh, Yuko won't be out here because Kaz is. So let's see if we can level up Kaz. Uh, yeah, I'll go to practice today. Yeah, it takes dedication, but no one's more dedicated than me. Kazushi! What is it, coach? You have a scary look on your face. What do you think you're doing? You're just practicing, coach. That's enough practice for you. Come to the nurse's office. The rest of you, get back to work. The nurse's office? Kazushi, did something happen? Yeah, right. I knew it. He's such a bad liar. You can totally tell he's favoring his one knee. I know you have something to do with this, Manny Kun. Sorry, but follow me. Head to the nurse's office with you go. Nurse's office. I just spoke to your mom about your knee. You're throwing caution to the wind, young man. That blabbermouth. I want you to quit before things get any worse, okay? Please, I need to practice. Kaz. You go, Manny, too? Take some time off, Kaz. Practice can wait until you're fully healed. No, I don't have time. Huh? What's your hurry? Don't be so rash. Manny, you've been hanging around with Kazushi lately, right? You must know something. Why? Don't. I don't want you to lie for me. Kazushi seems to feel guilty. I don't want you to get dragged into this, so I'll come clean. Kazushi's trying to protect you. Your relationship is stronger now. The mysterious voice rings in your head. That sucks because I didn't get any music notes and uh, now it'll take forever to level up his dumbass social link again. To tell you the truth, I... So that's the gist of it. I need to practice. I have to win or else. I know how you feel, Kazushi, but... So that's why. I don't mind if he competes at regionals. If it's just the individual competition, then I don't have to worry about him bringing us down. Why are you here? I'm worried about Kazushi. Guys. I'll let you keep training for now and we'll see how things go. But if I tell you to stop, I'm sorry, but you'll have to listen. And I want you to go home today. Your mother will be upset if I let you stay. Sorry, coach. Everyone, I... We're done here. Now get back to training, everyone. After practice, you decide to go back to the dorm. Sup, dude? Sup, dude? What do you think about that Ryoji kid? He's going around asking out every girl he sees. Damn. I wish I had his guts. Not another one. Kormar is stretched out. He's not in the mood for a walk. I feel like if he was stretched out, like, they could have at least done, uh, like, modeled him to lay down instead of sitting there. Alright. Go to Tartarus. Shit, man. What? Akihiko's sick! I guess we'll just go back to the stupid dorm. Dang. That's why you always gotta look at their condition. Morning. I heard Mitsuru Senpai is coming back today. That's good. I guess so. I'm sure she's feeling kind of down. I don't blame her, of course.
What's up, Manny? You going to practice? Yes. Dang, not even close. Mitsuru-san has just returned to the dorm. She looked really tired. She went straight to her room without saying a word. She'll be fine. I hope so. All right, Fuka. What do we got cracking? Sakihiko 6 still? Damn, I can't believe we made Akihiko sick. That sucks. Uh, at least we have 22 days. You gotta be careful. Alright, I'll call it there. Just a couple minutes early. Last time I ended up going over getting stuck in Tartarus. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Even though this episode wasn't exactly the most exciting one, I, uh... I am not recording this on Sunday like I normally do. I'm recording it late Saturday night, so I am a little more sleepy than I would normally be. So I'm not really very energetic and rearing to go. Uh, but I will be back next Sunday with some more Persona 3. Peace out, guys.